sports icons or three global athletes, who would they be? I mean, uh, see, Nadal would be first. Right now, but even he resonates and he kind of has always been someone who's always wanted to fight it and you know, it's not over till it's not over. So Nadal would be one. Uh, Noah Djokovic jo 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 would be uh, second. Uh, and um, I like to send it to Messi. YK, YK. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's at a time where, you know, performance where fitness, lifestyle, fans, the connect between fans and the heroes and role models is at a very good time. What pushed you towards, you know, having it? Was it, was it always a little, little dream that one day I have my own, own line or, you know, what was it like? Uh, I think it was, uh, I think and uh, my team, we've been speaking about this for almost good six, six, seven years. It's just that we wanted the right time and, you know, uh, right, right look uh, and the right partner to be very honest. Uh, and just, just, we never found the right, you know, what do you call it, the passion which did not come and we wanted to wait for the right time. And uh, I remember uh, when the conversation came that, you know, what, uh, And uh, for me, straight away, there was a smile on my face that I know what something which I've spread for so long. I always wanted something where um, there are my products out there and people can, you know, genuinely use it. But at the same point of time, we really, really, really wanted to make sure that when someone wears it, they should really enjoy it as well. They should feel it. So, um, coming back, coming from where I come from, uh, you know, sitting in this place where I am and speaking about my own brand, I don't think uh, for me it is a better story, you know, the better, uh, you know, very warm and healthy story for me. This was um, wanted for a long time, but uh, finally it has come. The day has come, and we are out. And uh, yeah, that's why they say, you know, that always dream big someday. It's always that. Nice shot. Nice shot. A quick word on you know the partner said the passion didn't come to when it did. You know, thank God, shop. They expected that it would be hard. Ki hardi panda bhot mehnat karayega. Lekin shayad unhone ne sudha itni mehnat karayega. This is something you go to Hardik and when Hardik subscribes to an idea, there is nothing more that matters in the world. The only one idea which is remain constant is I am an all-rounder. I will always be bold as well. Uske alawa idea dek aagya to then is immersed in the idea. And I have seen you go through designs, not talk to anyone like you. That is going to become your full-time profession. You are so into it. So just tell me. You know, working with Fanboard Shop, uh, the team to pick up designs, fabric, because you were completely immersed into it. I mean, uh, see, the reason why uh, for me anything which associates with me has to be niche, has to have the quality, has to have the love which I put to my product, even the one which I use. So, uh, when we initially started, uh, you know, there are a couple of times I've been very hard on, hard on them where. Uh, I've seen uh, the stuff that we had, and I know what we need to go back to square zero. And, uh, you know, they're very uh, you know, patient enough with me, and, uh, you know, they, they kept working hard, and they finally got the product right. And, uh, yeah, credit to the Panko team as well, who, uh, you know, was always acting the no matter how, <laughs> how, much, uh, how much pressure I could uh, put on them. And at the same point of time, for me, because it was so close to my heart, we just wanted to make sure that it has to be the perfect one. Which it has to be where everything is looked after and, you know, it's just not about Hadri Pandya wearing it. It's about everyone wearing it. So, for me, that was very, very important. Um, and I'm glad that the product has come out and, um, you know, not wait for everyone to try it on. And I hope that the kind of love and effort we have put, um, they feel it. I think that's what I asked you, uh, a language that is understandable or actually just from the dialogue. This is not a collab. It's a collab request. It's not an original content. And when you make a content from the content, it's a good idea. So, is it, and this question is a lot of people, you know, when they come out with their lines, it's like, ah, 
so it's not an endorsement. And will they always have also seen wear it? And was that the idea? That I have to wear it. And was that behind it? Whenever you looked at a product, were you thinking, what is my fan going to make of it? How is he going to feel? Because I think it's a very integral part of what you've done. Uh, yeah, exactly. When uh, the coming back to the whole wardrobe is now with my clothes, uh, especially my uh, training part is all covered by my own clothes. Uh, second was that the line which you used, it was very, very important for me that uh, I should be able to wear it, and that's when my fans should get the same feeling what I feel when I'm wearing it. So for us, a constant uh, conversation about the clothing and everything, how we want to come across as, was always to make sure that it's just not about me wearing it, it's about how when I wear it and how comfortable and how confident I feel and um, when someone else wears, wears it as well. They should feel the same. They should feel they want to go and, you know, uh, spend, uh, you know, burn all the calories, which is the good. So I hope which, on a funny we should be able to achieve that and, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been quite fantastic. <laughs> Go <laughs> burn a thousand calories. Team look chal gaye chhod gaye. No, on that note, Hardik, just give us, just give us uh, a beginner's kick, a beginner's kick with this amazing performance. Where give us in 60 seconds a Hardik Pandya endorsed workout. Chahiye? Yeah. Um, it's a big question. Just okay. Um, in 60 seconds. So uh, first of all, warm up is very important. Everyone should do warm up. Make sure that your body is ready. That's when you can push and push your fingers. Uh, something, I, I have a, not I'm going to take more than 60 seconds, I have a thing which has really helped me throughout my career, which was stayed when I was, I think, 16 years old. Uh, when our, our body does not get tired, our mind gets tired. So, so many times in my life, the difference between where I was able to push my limits was always the fact that when my mind gets tired, I will tell my body to just push because you will always have extra effort in your body. And the difference between if you do 20 and if I do 20, we are on the same level. But if I push to 25 and if I challenge my mindset, next time I'm going to do 25, next time I'm going to do 30. That's what I'm putting, wow, you know, getting a little level up on that. So coming back to the point that it is very, very important to sometimes train your mind as well that your body has much more than what you can think. And that video stayed with me for so long that every time in my life when my trainer has said we do 10 push-ups, I always ended up doing 15. And that has pushed my limits and I think slowly, slowly everyone wants to start the fitness journey. They should focus on that. You know, start pushing your way at every single day because body, human body is such a lovely creation by God that it will mold however you want to, yeah. however you want to have it. It's just that it just needs a little hard work. And coming back to the point of 60 seconds, uh, this thing, it's very, very important that everyone focuses on leg because uh, chicken legs are not good. So uh, we should do a lot of lunges, um, um, squats, um, you can put, I like pull ups, um, push ups, um, leg press, and something which really work on uh, the glutes, which is, uh, you know, you can do leg press, which really works, and lunges. So make sure. You look after balance it out properly. Just walk out. Anything, just do something in gym that would be good. Spoken like a true fast bowler. No, not what it is. But first, it comes. Bowling has to take care of the legs, the glutes, and everything. And that's why you get sleep. Let me ask you, Arthur, because you know 135 plus, 140, and I know you love bowling fast. When was it when you were growing up, when you were playing cricket? When he knew that, you know, this is getting serious, you've got, you've got the framework of bowling that quick and hitting the ball that far. When did you start loading up that fitness from, from a level of uh, an aspiring cricketer to a state cricketer to then an international cricketer? Uh, it's just that Bobby and I, uh, I was really into fitness from start. So I don't know, many people don't know, but I think I'll just use this. For me, uh, I never knew what fitness would do to me, but it's just that I felt it that for me I always wanted to be number one in everything which I do. So in a habit of that, I kept training when I was young a lot, I pushed myself a lot, ran a lot. Uh, so I had a very good strong base. Obviously there was not much knowledge about the body, not much not, uh, knowledge about the fact 
that the how do I increase my fitness? But as soon as, because my base was strong and I did the basics which you are supposed to do while training, um, helped me when I came to um, the higher level. I was used to go if I'm not wrong, 130s. Or one higher 130s. I was able to go that 140 plus 142 by pushing. That's when I realized by 2017 on the estimates I started getting uh, more, more into my body, more knowledge about it. And that's when I started pushing. And I think uh, as soon as I start pushing, that's when my slowly, slowly, consistently my graph kept getting up. Because as you mentioned, uh, for me, uh, fast moving is quite everything because I can pay with people. So uh, I really, when I go, I'm really a fast, fast moving. Like I really go into that mindset of how a general, quick, fast moving is just there, kind of coming on your head. Uh, that day, and obviously with that fitness uh, routine, joining in, uh, body, body, uh, you know, getting much, much more stronger, and I think that's when I was able to push my limits and uh, uh, you know get what I wanted. Let me actually ask you at this point, what what do you want to achieve from your own life? You know, Hardik Pandya performance there, because I remember you telling me backstage that it's not just for people who want to get it because it's Hardik Pandya. You you always are endorsing a very active lifestyle. You've seen the advantages of it. You've seen you do a lot of yoga as well. So what's your vision and, and mission? The end goal. I mean, maybe not the end goal, but the journey like. You want, you want people just to take it up even if they've got no connect with maybe uh, watching the sport or aspiring to be a sports person just every day with this? Uh, yes, yes sir. that was uh, the whole purpose for me to come out of this. Yes. Uh, uh, this is just... This is about people loving and being passionate about the fitness, uh, you know, pushing their boundaries, uh, you know, you know, wearing something which is which is cool as well. At the same point of time, you can get heavier as well. And so, um, coming, yeah, I mean, the journey, the outcome is just that as many people can now uh, wear it and all the fans and everyone wear it, and even if you are. Uh, you know, not associated with the sport. We wanted to come up with something which really, you know, where everybody is comfortable with it. It's just not about just putting someone's name on it and just not having a comfortable product. What our goal was at the same point of time, we wanted to look after niche, a really good product which everyone can afford. And at the same point of time, just making sure that even if even you are not associated with the sport, you just see the brand, you just see the uh, product. You get excited. So, so even for those who do yoga, um, yes, to everyone, to anyone who's uh, uh, get, you know, I do yoga in this. So uh, for me, uh, it's, it's it's about just being comfortable. Because yoga is something which you really want to be comfortable and enjoy. It. And you know, in a controlled space and you know, get better, open your mindset, you know, go into a deep uh, thinking. So even the ones who want to do yoga, someone wants to run, someone wants to gym, someone wants to do crossfit, someone wants to play paddles, football, uh, cricket, everyone can wear this and uh, yeah, let's see if you wear it, so everyone can wear it. Amazing. Uh, just now that we're talking about run, let me just ask you, a uh, very popular thing is the uh, yo-yo test, right? Uh, yeah, is it a yo-yo? No, it's not a yo-yo. Yo-yo, yeah, right? <laughs> What is your, what, what, what's been your top yo-yo test score? Ever? Ever and, ha, ever is it? Oh, uh, it's the achievement, it's the achievement, it's the achievement. Ever is uh, 28.7. Sorry, 21.7. 21. 21.7. So after 22 and a half or 22 and a half, 7th, the test finishes. So I was just wondering. Woo! Uh, if you just have, do you enjoy being at the gym more or do you now enjoy going out? Because I know you started, you started running outdoors a lot. We see when you go on your training binges, uh, you go for early morning trainings to stadiums and all that. Do you enjoy closed workout spaces or open spaces? Uh, see, for me it's uh, being fit and uh, being healthy is a passion. So I really don't differentiate between uh, if I have to stay indoors or outdoors. I just want to train. And uh, for, for me, obviously, uh, 
gym is something which we all have to do, but for me, running is the most important part. Uh, for me, running gets the best out of my body, running gets the best out of everyone because that's the most healthiest thing which you can do to your body. Uh, it keeps your blood vessels and blood flow very fast because you kind of push it. So, uh, if still I have balance, I really like both, but if I still have to pick, I think uh, running is tougher, much, much tougher, but I really enjoy it because the kind of satisfaction you can get after a run. Uh, I mean, Jim can give, give you that, but running can give you a, a lot of satisfaction in your life. Pandit Pandya, you keep running with the hand. We'll continue to be behind you. Because when you run, you run in the direction which only brings glory and happiness to so many fans. We are all very chuffed and very, very excited that this moment has come. Very happy for Arthik Pandya, very happy for Fan Code. When it's a great, great initiative, it's a win win for both of them. Can we have a big round of applause for Arthik Pandya, for Fan Code Shop, for everyone who's been involved in this moment? And it's a big India product, so I hope we get the last one.